So I was watching one of the deleted scenes for Thor Love and Thunder. It was the one where Zeus was teaching Thor about how to use the Thunderbolt. And holy shit, this was, you can't even call it, you can't even call this an alternate take. This would have been an entirely different film. Sure, there is some levity in the first part of the scene, and I'm strictly talking about the Zeus and Thor part, not the part where Mjolnir is banging on the window to get to Jane, or the end part where Thor and Jane are flying on the unedited uh, goats. But with Zeus, he is shown in this scene as being sincere, as being kingly and wise. Definitely not the buffoon that we got in the theatrical release. You get a scene where Zeus is not only willing to show Thor something that he hasn't shown his own sons, but it's a continuation of the theme from Thor Ragnarok, where Odin was explaining to Thor that the power is inside him, that Thor doesn't need Mjolnir, or in this case, Thunderbolt. So why the hell wouldn't they have played on that in this movie? I mean, in the movie we got, Thor reveals that Zeus was his hero, that he based a lot of what he does on Zeus, and up until this point, minus Avengers Endgame, Thor has proved himself to be a great hero, but in Thor Love and Thunder, Thor is a moron, and surprise surprise, Zeus is even worse. Not just making Zeus a joke, but the entire collection of gods a joke given that they all respect him. Somewhere out there, I think, is a good Thor film. The kind of film we were all hoping for. I mean, the themes alone would have been entirely different, and of course it would have changed the third act of the plot. And this isn't just Taika Waititi's fault, Kevin Feige had to have greenlit this film. So he's definitely dropping the ball in his face. And I'm not even saying that the movie was woke. It was just an objectively bad film. But unfortunately, Marvel doesn't really do alternate cuts for these films. Unless they think they can squeeze a bunch of money out of fans by including a few unfinished deleted scenes. So I don't think we'll ever see this alternate Thor film. But in my opinion, this scene alone was better than the actual Thor Love and Thunder that we got. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. I'll see you all next time. Bye.